Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Old Hartley Caravan and Motorhome Club site in Whitley Bay. So let's go and take a look around. So we start our journey in the last couple of minutes before we arrive at Old Hartley Caravan and Motorhome Club site, which is near Whitley Bay on the northeast coast. The same old town, like so many times before we look at the same old stars, battle the same old We're heading straight on here in front of the Della Alarms. We grab some food there a little bit later. We carry straight on here and then we take the left hand turn just coming up here to take us down to the entrance to the Old Hartley Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Okay Worth noting there was a sign up just back there saying no arrivals before 1pm. Okay on arriving at the site we were greeted by the warden who took our membership card and then allowed us to go and find a pitch and then we popped to the office to check in and pay the site fee. Give you a quick look of the campsite while we find our pitch. All the fun times we had, I'll never forget we will always share a bond no matter what cause you have a piece of my heart we chose the pitch just on the left here, just as the road branches round. So let's take a look around Old Hartley Caravan and Motor Home Club site. On the way in is the reception and a small shop and then just across the way from that is the facilities block. Here's a quick look across the site uh, just standing up near the reception area. Gives you a view. You can see uh, the site's right on the cliff edge overlooking the North Sea. We'll now take a look around the facilities block. To the rear of the block there is an information hut which had lots of useful information in it even had some DVDs if you wanted to borrow a DVD. You can see, we have a look around there. They also had some public transport timetables as well, which would be handy. Just past the information hut is a motorhome service point and also waste and recycling. There's a small laundry with a couple of machines in it and also next door to that is a washing up area. As we continue walking round the outside of the facilities block and at the front an accessible toilet, a ladies and a gent. Rachel's just going to give you a very quick look inside of the ladies toilet just to give you a view of the standard of the facilities which was very good. Let's take another quick sweep across the site and see St Mary's Lighthouse in the distance there and the look across the North Sea and there's a view right the way around the site. We then headed to the Dell of Alarms, which is just outside the site, uh, about 100 yards from the site entrance, and had our evening meal there. And Rachel sat in Wally's corner, and uh, it was very nice and very dog friendly. So that's the Dell of Alarms. Just next to Old Hartley, there's a car park. I noticed there was a camper van staying there, but there was a sign up saying no overnight camping in that particular car park. I took Roxy for a walk on the Friday morning and we headed towards St Mary's Lighthouse but started by just having a quick look along in front of the uh, campsite and there's a path runs in the opposite direction to what we were heading but you can see across the site there and uh, gives you an idea of the views you get and this is kind of looking back but as we walk along the path so we're back in the car park now and then we're going to head in the direction of the lighthouse, uh, which you'll just see coming back into the distance now. There's a small rocky beach area not too far from the campsite as well. You can get down to via some steps. After we walked along the cliff path, we then came to Curry's Point, which is at the point where you would go down to cross over if you wanted to visit St Mary's Lighthouse directly. 
There's a nice promenade that takes you along to the outskirts of Whitley Bay. There's also plenty of seating so you can sit down and admire the view or take a break from your wander. There's also a car park here, St Mary's Island North Car Park, which allows you to park if you need to get a bit closer or you have any accessibility issues getting along the walk along the cliff tops. We're now going to head along the promenade and then down onto the beach so that Roxy can have a play in the water. You can see Whitley Bay in the distance just coming into view and the first bit we had to climb over some seaweed but it wasn't any real problem to get along so we just headed down the steps off the promenade to get onto the beach here. Just take a quick look back here to show you where we came down. It's worth noting that certain sections of the beach towards Whitley Bay Dogs aren't allowed on, certainly not in the main part of the season. This section, however, was fine for dogs to be on the beach. So Roxy's now going to have a little play in the water. Yeah. On this occasion it didn't head to right the way along into Whitley Bay but that gives you a quick view in the distance of Whitley Bay. We then headed back and Roxy had a bit of a play in the sand and we headed back along the promenade to St Mary's Lighthouse before we headed back to Old Hartley Caravan site. And there's a quick look at the car park that I mentioned earlier. Final look across to St Mary's Island and St Mary's Lighthouse. There we go. You can see the site coming back into the distance there and just a reminder there's a way down onto that rocky outcrop and beach there. So let's head back round into the site. Just take a quick look around again from the outside of the site. Now it's lightened up a little bit and you can see there it was the start of a really lovely day and there's a quick look out at the view that you get from the site. Really magnificent, found it very relaxing. So now we're back on the site and back at the van. We had a lovely visit from Andy, Joe and Tilly. Fortunately, didn't think to grab a picture, we were nattering that much, but a big shout out, thank you so much for popping down and saying hello. Unfortunately, it was now time to leave and head for our next destination, Seton Deleville Hall, before we made our way to our next campsite. So we're just heading off the site now and there's Rachel taking some footage of us, taking some footage of her. So there we go. That's what Rachel's seeing as we head out of Old Hartley Caravan and Motorhome Club site just near Whitley Bay in Northumberland. When you've entered the gates, you then take a left hand turn to head towards the car park. It was Good Friday when we visited, so I imagine it's busier than it normally would be. The main part of the car park was fairly full, and some of the spaces were fairly small for fitting in a camper van or motorhome. However, there was a grass area just at the end, just coming up here, where you could park with a little bit more room. And now let's take a look around Seaton Deleville Hall. You just wander through the car park to get to the entrance and that gets you inside of Seaton Deleville Hall.
Seton Delaval Hall is a Grade 1 listed country house in Northumberland, England, near the coast, just up north of Newcastle upon Tyne, and it's located between Seton Sluice and Seton Delaval. It was designed by Sir John Vanbrugh in 1718 for the Admiral George Delaval. It's now owned by the National Trust. If you're a member of the National Trust, you can park and go and look around the grounds and the house for free. There's an admission charge if you're not a member, which you can find on the National Trust website. There was a lovely stable block which had the names of all of the horses. There's also a nice little cafe which served coffee, tea, cold drinks and some food as well. We had a nice look around the gardens as well, which is highly recommended if you visit. And that concludes our tour of the lovely Seton Delaval Hall in Northumberland. So there's a quick look round Old Hartley Caravan and Motorhome Club site, a quick walk along the beach, a look at St Mary's Lighthouse and a look at Seton Delaval Hall. So Rachel, what did you think of Old Hartley Caravan and Motorhome Club site? I like it. I like being able to sit and look out at the sea. The site is on quite a big slope, so it's not a problem, but it is slope. Facility is good, clean. We went up to the pub at the top of the hill last night, two minutes walking distance. Lovely food, very dog friendly. I enjoyed it. What about you? Come here a few times many years ago, and it's not changed a great deal, to be fair. The view's the same. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's a nice site. Uh, it was quite busy this weekend, so um, limited pitches to choose from, but managed to tuck ourselves on the pictures you see. And yeah, good site, nice area, um, nice place to walk the dog. Great to be able to walk along down to the beach. And uh, there's something special about that view over St Mary's Island and St Mary's Lighthouse. So nice site, yes, would definitely come back. Would you? Yeah, definitely. And Roxy enjoyed it as well as you've probably seen. Yeah, well, Roxy always manages to find the water no matter where we go, so <laughs> she's a water baby. So, thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye! Bye.